What's up, my students? Today we are talking about episode 7 of The Boys. Holy moly, this, this episode was just what, 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 what? That opening, that opening, that opening, that opening. Mm -mm -mm. You see, that dude, they need to just butter him like Boruto. Bring your Michelin built, your tubby, the ghost from Ghost, the Ghostbusters logo built. Bring your, you come here, come, get your, sit, sit, sit your punk ass down. That's what they need to do to that dude in the opening. Because that opening, man, let me tell you, man. Do your own research. Do your own research. Do not be influenced just by the stuff you see on social media. Social media is a great tool, but it should be a tool, not your life. Because you're going to be looking like that opening, that dude in the opening. And that dude in the opening, what you did was foul, sir. And you need to get arrested. And they need to do some things to you. You need to get a slippery bar of slope. Man, my insult was going to really have some punch. But anyway, a slippery bar of soap is what I meant to say. He needs to get that. That's what I'm saying. That dude in the opening, what you did was foul. It's foul. Huey, Starlight, like, I, I know, I know, and it's okay, and it's cool. It's, uh, it's alright. I like, I like that. You know, rooting for your team, Starlight, Huey, all the way. But just watch yourselves. You're not watching yourselves. You need to watch yourselves like your children in a crib with, with, with strange adults, with strangers just roaming around. Like, you need to watch yourselves like your children on the playground and there's just a stranger with a van in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Watch yourselves. Please, watch yourselves. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Lamplighter is a weirdo. Lamplighter <laughs> is a weirdo. And, yo, the stuff that he does in this episode, like, fam. Mm -mm -mm. First off, I mean, he's a very compelling character, even if he is a weirdo. Like... You know, Lamp Lighter, he just, he oozes insanity, he is insane, and, like, the stuff that they do with him in this episode, you know, like, if you came to like Lamp Lighter, what they do to him in this episode, you gonna be hot. Ooh, you're gonna be hot. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, if you're a Lamp Lighter fan, I get it, but I'll promise you this, no one was hotter than Lamp Lighter. I'm sorry, it was right there. I, I I couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it go. I'm sorry. 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 Becca, 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 Butcher, Becca, Becca. You should have left with Butcher. You should have left with. The, you you should have left with Butcher. You should have just. I don't know why you decided to stay, and now you see what happened. Oh my gosh! But I feel so sorry for Becca in this episode. Oh, Becca going through it. Mm -hmm. See with these super crazy people, she is. They, there's a lot of insanity going on. She's, you know, lying to the kid, but, you know, for a good cause. And Home, Homelander has the audacity, the audacity to be like, you know, you're lying to him. You're lying. Like, he, he has a line like that in that. It's not looking from you. 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 Get the hell out of here with the, you. I'm just saying, Becca ain't having a good time in this episode. Ah, oh, man. And, like, the way that situation resolves itself, I was just like... That was a tough watch. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough to watch. Stay strong, Becca. Oh man. But get the hell out of there, Becca. Run! Leave! Like, I know Butcher also a madman, but at least, you know, Butcher can't laser you. Just leave. I want to talk about Mallory and uh, MM real quick. So they have a really quick conversation and Mallory's just like, look fam, I can get you out of this if you want. And MM has that look on his face like, I gotta think about this. Now, uh, I'm, I'm like, like, what's this, the, she basically gives him an offer he can't refuse. That's my best, that's my best Italian grandfather impression, grandfather? <laughs> Godfather impression. And um, yeah, yeah, it's bad, I know. So, you can leave the comment if you want. I love the engagement, but I know it's bad. I know it's bad. Point being is that if he takes the deal, I'm just like, yo, I'll get it. I'll get it. Because MM been babysitting this whole crew. MM has been handling all their insanity. Awful. Like, I think he's, like, the only legitimate one who's 
really gunning for this. I mean, he's done some foul stuff too, or he's been party to some foul stuff. He hasn't actually done it himself, but you know, you know, guilty by association. But the point being is that MM is really chasing justice out here, and it's it's like I'm just like yo. I guess it's a testament to sometimes fighting these things and you know losing who you are in this stuff. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. So if he if he takes the deal, I'm just like I get it. I I wouldn't even be mad at you, fam. I wouldn't be mad at you. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Butcher backstory. We get some backstory on Butcher, which you know kind of explains why he is the way that he is. And he has like okay, so you know, not even a spoiler though. Butcher has a family, and apparently his dad and him not on the greatest of terms like that, and. Like, he has this really tender moment with his mother where she's, she, she's just trying to tell him not to be that way because, you know, it, it's alluded to that his dad was what made him that way. And she's just trying to see that he would not, hopefully he will stop being that way. And I was just looking at this poor old woman like, it's too late. <coughs> it's too late. It is too late. It is too... Butcher has a moment in this episode that just makes me go, Oh my God! Like, he legit has a moment where I'm like, he's the good guy? And this is the thing. This is the thing. Butcher's whole crew is crazy. Butcher's whole crew is crazy. But, but, okay, MM not so crazy. I don't think so. But, 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 with all the insanity that is in his crew, none of them would have done this. None of them would have done this. Like, and it's not even a physical action. It's a conversation. And I'm just like... And he means it. I was just like, he's, huh? Basically, if Butcher's on your side, thank your lucky stars. Just do not become his enemy. Speaking of Homelander, you know, like, I've seen some stuff where people are saying that if it's this whole social media thing on the boys, why isn't there backlash? Where's the leftist media? You know, because apparently everybody's a freaking direction out here. But the point being <laughs> is that, um, uh, like, it's very impossible. Like, I find it very realistic that he's only seeing the things that he wants to see and he's only talking to the people that want to talk to him. Like, if you're going to get any backlash and it's supposed to be online, um, like, it's supposed to be a, you know, a leftist media talk show host going, oh my god, homeland, like, maybe that will come in the future episode, but I'm okay with them not really showing that side simply because I know it's there, but it would be in his nature to ignore any criticism. And at this point in Homelander's genesis, because he's still growing as a character, growing to be worse, by the way, like, I'm, I'm suspecting that he's not going to be worry too much about who likes him anymore because that was the one thing you could control Homelander with and Stormfront is just like we're going to take that little floor of his and we're going to stomp that out to make the most perfect Nazi villain of all time and here's the thing I don't even think that Homelander is a Nazi I like one of the things that's crazy about this show with the writing is that I think Homelander legit wants to belong and legit want some stability, but he's so messed up in his mind that he doesn't even know what that looks like. So he's trying to attempt to replicate whatever he saw in whatever, no matter how messed up the foundations of it are. And he's just like, mm, I, 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 I almost sympathize with you, almost like I want to give it to you, but no, you, you, you kill kids, you, you kill the dude in his own village. And you snatched a you snatched a kid from his loving mom. So, you know what? No, no, no. Like as much as Butcher is bad as you, as much as Butcher, you know, crazy as you and is evil, I still wish Butcher could sock you in your face or something. Or Huey or MM. Like, but it's most likely gonna be Butcher. But I'm just like some of the, I still wish you get socked out. Like I'm almost feeling for you, almost. Which is insane to me. Black Noir. Black Noir. So we find out some things about Black Noir in this episode where it was just like... Alright, alright. Um, hmm. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, like, if you've read the comic books, then you know the big, big spoiler. But, like, in this one, they make a huge change to him, and I'm just wondering if that's going to carry over. And the funny thing for me is that I'm just like, is that why Stan is so cocky? When it comes to Homelander and Stormfront, is that why Stan is so cocky? Because if the thing from if the thing from the comic books is carrying over, and the thing with the character 
is consistent in, you know, what's happening, it's just going to be like, Maybe that's why Stan is just like, Homelander ain't nothing. Homelander's a chump. He's a sucker. I done wrestle with an alligator. I done tussle with a whale. <laughs> Kimiko and Frenchie are on track. Yeah, my boy, my boy Frenchie, my boy Frenchie. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I know, I know, I know, but I just wanted to touch on that to say, yeah, my boy Frenchie. I see you, I see you, man. I see you. Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just survive the, the last episode. Can you two please survive? Thanks. That'd be nice. That'd be really, really nice. The ending. Hold on. All I heard was Mortal Kombat! Do 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 Uh YouTube, YouTube, can I hum it? Can I hum it or is that a copyright strike? Can we can I can I hum it? Can I hum the tune with my own vocals? Cause like, the minute I try and put that stuff in there, I just get copyright. It is insane. Anyway, anyway, besides the point, besides the point. Point is, is that that ending, dude, it was just like they had him. They had him. And then everything just literally blows up in their face. It was an explosive proceeding. Last one, last one, last one. Don't, 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 don't click away, don't click away, don't click away. <laughs> yeah, man, that ending, I was just like. And then the way it focused, like the, 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 the ending after that crazy thing, you're just like. This is the boys communicating that this could get worse. This is the boys communicating that this could get worse. And you're just like, I don't even know if I want to see that. <laughs> but that's my thoughts on the boys. Let me know what you thought of the boys in the comment section down below. Talk to you, boy. Remember, non-spoiler. These are all non-spoilers. I'm actually going to start putting that in the title because I guess people are getting confused. But non-spoilers non-spoilers we're always keeping it vague you know we're not talking about like we talk about slight plot points and if you want to go in super cold but point being is this is all non-spoilers so please don't spoil anything in the comment section down below look at you you made it to the end of the video you are spectacular if you like this video i got another one up here i got a playlist down there and you can click on my icon to subscribe remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe and i see you all in another video because my command's got to be out Poof.